thing is the notation, they're either going to show you something like this, f of g of x, or g of f of x, or instead of writing it this way, they'll write f of g. So they're going to put a little circle right there, or g of f. Okay, so different from multiplication, this is actually means composition of functions. So I'll give you a couple examples. Like say for example, uh, f of x equals 2x minus 1. And say that g of x equals, let's just say it's x squared. Okay, so say for example, we wanted to find out what is f of g of 3. Okay, just like you do the order of operations, you start from the inside and you work your way out. So for example, we would go to the g function, we would put 3 in for x on the right, so you can see that 3 squared is 9, so now we have f of 9, and now whatever's here in parentheses, that's our input, that goes in for x on the right, and we get 2 times 9 minus 1, which is 17. So the result of doing one function, and that output becomes the new input in the next function, that's composition of functions. Now, I'll just show you, let's say we did this in reverse, just so that you can see that you don't get the same answer necessarily. So if we do g of f of 3 again, here we're putting 3 in for x in the f function, so that's going to be 2 times 3, which is 6, minus 1 is 5. Okay, now we're calculating what is g of 5. Okay, so 5 is our input, that goes in for x on the right, that's 5 squared, which is 25, and you can see those are not the same. So the idea is you do one function, and then another function, and sometimes you can do three, four, five of these compositions. Okay, now here I used a, a specific number, like three, okay, or five, or like nine, whatever. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just do it in a generic uh, sense. So say for example, we wanted to do just f of g of x like this. So g of x actually equals x squared. So now what I have is f of x squared. Whatever's in the parentheses, that's the input. That goes in place okay, of x on the right side of the equation. So you can see this is going to be 2 times x squared minus 1. And if you simplify, you can just write it like that. Okay, if we do it the other way, let's say we want to do g of f of x. Now we can see that 2x minus 1, oops, 2x minus 1 is our input into our g function. So whatever is here goes in for x on the right. So you can see that's going to be 2x minus 1, the quantity squared. And you could FOIL that out or you could leave it like that. Okay, so do you understand the idea basically about how compositions of functions work? Okay, so now a more challenging example that uh, I've had a couple students ask me about recently are find f of x and g of x such that h of x, okay, which, which are these two functions here, equal f of g of x, so the two functions composed together. So what we're doing is we're actually coming up with our own two functions that when you compose them, you end up with this result here, h of x. And there's more than one answer, so realize that. So for, for example, one option we could do here for f of g of x is we could say that g of x equals the inner part of this square root. So we could say this is 2x minus 3, and f of x, okay, which is the one that we do second, is the outer part, which is just the square root. So you can see here what we're doing when we do f of g of x is we're taking g of x, okay, which is 2x minus 3, and we're putting it in to our f function in place of x. So that becomes square root of 2x minus 3, and that's what we have there. Now there's more than one answer, like I said. Another option would be to go like this. You could say, hmm, g of x equals 2x. So now we're just using uh, this part here, and f of x equals the square root of x minus 3. So now what we have is when you put the g of x function right into the f function, we're putting 2x in place of x, and we're getting this h of x function. Are you with me so far? So these are a little bit more challenging. Let's look at another example. So here they give us the result of composing f of g of x, right? And so here what we'll do is, usually the easiest way to do it is to think about uh, g of x, just like it's the inner quantity here, look for the innermost quantity on this function. So we could say that, let's say, g of x equals this inner quantity here, 9x minus 7, and f of x equals 1 over 3 times the quantity x squared. So now you can see you're putting 9x minus 7 in place of x when you do this composition of functions. Now that's not the only way to do it. Another option would be here. And there's a lot of options here, but let's just do one more. g of x you could just say equals uh, 9x, for example. Okay, so now we're just working with this piece right here. And f of x equals 1 over 3 times x minus 7, the quantity squared. So now we're putting 9x in place of x when we do that composition. 
So again, these are a little bit more challenging. I'll have a link to a video that I did just talking about some of the simpler, just basic, uh, straightforward composition of functions. So you can check out that video if you want to learn more. Subscribe to the channel. Check out some more uh, videos on uh, Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.